Hi folks, once you decide that you want to sell something on eBay or buy something on eBay, you'd have to obviously access eBay's homepage. If you're not already registered with eBay, you would have to register with eBay to either buy or sell something. Once, you've ha once you have registered with eBay and then you decide to sell something on eBay, you would eventually come to a page that looks something similar to this. This is the eBay seller page. Here you can see the title for your item, your subtitle if you so wish, your item condition, your pictures, your item specifics, then there's the details, then you have your price, you have your your selling format, the amount of time that you want it up for sale for, and all the other kind of options that you have further down the page. We are going to go back up to the item description or the details as it has here. You can see here we have two tabs. We have the standard tab and the HTML tab. I talk about the standard tab first. It just does exactly what it says on the tin. It's just a standard item description uh, tool for filling in with text. Here you have your your um, text type, you have your size, your colour, bold, italic or underlined, you have your um, whether you want the text in the middle or at the sides, then you have your uh, tabs. This just gives you a basic item description. As you can see here I've already got one opened up. As you can see it is just black text against a white background. All the text is placed to the left and it looks pretty plain. So we can go back. As I say, we have the standard tab. Next to the standard tab, select the HTML. Now then, on the HTML tab, what we can do is we can go to a notepad or some text editor somewhere where it's got HTML code. If you have the appropriate code written, we can copy the code and then we can paste it to our HTML text editor. Remember the tab for HTML has to be highlighted. Then we paste the code into this HTML. You can see now that we have our HTML code in the box for the HTML. We go back to the standard tab and now you can see your item description looks a lot more presentable. The beauty about this is that to edit this text all you need to do is just treat it as a normal text editor so you can use your keyboard as normal just to put in anything that you so wish welcome to my ebay from youtube so then you can see we can edit the text just as normal if you go back to the html you can see the colors here go back to the html these are the colors the color codes so if you go to a website and you find similar color coding you can change these codes simply and it can change the colors to your text to your background to the borders you can see the size here this is the text size this this 60 px that is for the border size so you, if you if you put in 30 you would reduce the border size and it wouldn't do any harm you can change all these colors using this uh, the, the text in the HTML or you can still change the size of the text if you wanted to add your own item description below your title say this was your title and you wanted to add further to the description you can go up to drop down and you can put in the text to the size that you want and you can also change your font. So we can go back to the HTML. As I said, we can change the size of the border. Make that 30. There you can see the border size has changed. This, as I say, is just a basic HTML. This code here is just basic HTML to give you this outcome. You can you can uh, vastly improve it with better HTML code. My own uh, eBay site, I have got this filled in. As you can see, this is my item description on eBay. And as you can see, my item description looks far more superior 
rather than just having the white on black. Just to go back to the item description page and where we've uh, filled in our HTML code for the description, a few more simple things is that the malleability of this is quite good because as you can see you can increase the size as well of the box. You're not limited to the actual size of the box that was written into the HTML code. Um, as So you can manipulate all the text and the colours. Um, if you do happen to make a mistake or if there is something goes wrong when editing this, the simple thing to do is to go back to the HTML, highlight all the HTML, get rid of it and then you go back to the standard and you can see that the description has been uh, all the uh, details have been deleted and simply you just go back to the HTML tab go back down to your original code copy it paste it back in to the HTML tab and you can see we've just gone back to the original code uh, this is great because you don't have a lot of uh, writing of code to be done it's just a simple case of deleting and then re-entering the HTML code in its original form I hope this video has been of some help to you. Um, this HTML code here, as I say, it is just simple and it is easy to change the colours. If you so wish, you can write it down and copy it. If you want the details of the uh, this page, of this more detailed item description, then just drop me a line or email me or get in touch and I will email you the code or something similar. Again, with this one, all the colours on this are as in the the entry HTML entry for this one so to change the colors in this one all you would need to do is to change the color codes in the actual code thanks for watching the video to the end and I hope it's been of some help to you and I also hope that you've enjoyed watching it and I hope to see you in one of my other videos bye just now